Greetings all. Welcome to my channel Subculture Vulture. Since I'm still surrounded by Christmas lights, I believe it would be most fitting to take a look at the Decatora subculture. Now first we're going to have to transport ourselves away from my dingy flat in London to the land of the rising sun, Japan. Now, Decatora essentially means decorated truck, or sometimes they're actually called um, art trucks. And they're essentially big rigs splashed about in neon, chrome and paint. So first, you take an ordinary truck used for mundane activities such as transporting vegetables. Then you add a lick of paint, add some lights, spray some more paint, probably paint a mural, add some strobe, some LED, some neon, and you're done. You have your own brand spanking new Decatora truck. The garish designs of the Decatora trucks are oddly reminiscent of the mechs from Japanese anime, such as Transformers and Tengen Topo Gurren Lagann. The latter of which I would definitely recommend watching if you're into a very strong storyline backed up by emphatic and passionate characters, along with loud explosions and frequent fights. Anyway, we do have a similar phenomenon in Pakistan with the Pakistan art trucks. Now here, rather than adorning their vehicles with loads and loads of lights, instead they like to use um, intricate paintings. And these paintings might depict landscapes, beautiful women, or political, or even religious figures. And also there's a lot of um, calligraphy involved as well. So you'd see on all the surfaces on the trucks, you might see religious texts or poetry. Now here's a trailer for the film called Truck Rascals, which was released in 1975. Now this film was actually part of a, a series of 10 films called Truck Guys. And the series was pretty much about two trucker friends that used to get into all manner of trouble driving around Japan in their Decatoras. Now, even though the film series didn't actually start the whole Decatora subculture, it certainly did actually um, propel the subculture to the limelight. And it actually got to one point in which people would actually start to ride around in Decatoras just on the hopes that they get noticed and put into the films. That's how popular they were. I bet you're wondering how the truck battery can possibly power all those lights. Well, the truth is, the battery doesn't. Instead, what they do is actually create extra generators built into the chassis of the trucks in order to power all those lights. And supposedly, these generators tend to overheat after about 20 minutes to half an hour, so they don't even really last too long either. When the truck drivers themselves are quizzed on how much they've spent on creating their rigs, you usually get figures that range between the equivalent of tens of thousands of pounds or even up to hundreds of thousands of pounds. Also, it's very likely that the trucks that you've seen in this video and anywhere else on the internet have actually had decades of work put into them. Furthermore to this, the vehicles aren't considered street legal unless the lights are turned off because as you can imagine, the display will prove to be a great distraction to other motorists. It's rumoured that the Decatora truck subculture started with trucks falling apart on really long, arduous journeys. So to compensate for this, the truck drivers would scrounge around scrapyards looking for bits of metal to tack onto their rusting machines. And then eventually it got to the point in which they started to tack on these components for purely aesthetic reasons. And that's how the subculture was supposedly born. Decatora have their own little spin-off with the introduction of Decochari. The kids that were envious of the big, manly trucks had to compensate by making customizations to their bicycles, by draping the frames in lights and adding plywood boxes. In the end, the Decatora truck drivers are pretty much just normal people. They are definitely not the strangest subculture that I'm going to be covering. They're just average Joes that like to make sexy modifications to their trucks. So that's all the time that we have for today, folks. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.